I got a question from one of our customers today about how to uh, make the image caption titles show up on Hover. And I thought this would be a good, uh, a good case study for uh, using ChatGPT to generate CSS on a Squarespace site. So let's dig in. So the first thing we want to do is we want to inspect the element here. And I'm going to, I want to get the image by itself, right? So looks like each one of these divs applies to a different image. And what I'm going to do is click edit as HTML. And so I'm going to copy this entire HTML here and I'm going to paste it here. And now in my prompt, I'm going to say, um, write CSS to make the caption title show on hover. Okay, so to make the caption title show on hover, you can use CSS. Here's an example of how you can achieve this. So let's give this a try and see if it, uh, if it, if it actually works here. Um, and I don't think it will. Um, currently the image slide title is below the image. Um, how can we make it overlay the image? Alright, so this looks like it might, uh, might get us there. So let's copy the code and give it a try. So I'm going to paste this in my custom CSS. And as you can see, now we have the image title on showing up on hover. Cool. So let's save that. Now we might want to change the color of the text. And there's also it looks like there's some additional okay the spacing gets corrected cool so yeah we might want to change the color here so let's just throw that in as an extra extra feature um, how can we change the uh, font color and size cool so now we've got the customizations for that and I'm just going to copy that piece and paste it within what we already have here. Hit save. So now the color is white and the font size is 20. Say we want to make it 30. Alright, so that didn't work. So let's. Uh, Try it. There we go. I'm making that important. All right, but we'll bring it back to 20. 20 is good enough. So there you have it. That's how. This is how you can generate custom CSS um, for your Squarespace site using ChatGPT. Very simple, right? First, we just uh, copy our HTML, uh, give our command, and we want to be as specific as possible. Obviously, I wasn't specific enough the first time, so I. I you know, went back and gave some more clarity. And uh, there you go. If you have any questions on this kind of stuff, leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to uh, answer it. Peace.